Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a look at Stretch Serpent. So let me move him out of the way. The mini black stretch monster. The custom, these are both custom, the black, the mini black one and this one, because the, the older one didn't have orange on it. So, you know. Um, here is Stretch Serpent. So, uh, my dad got me this on, um, on eBay. And I was able to open it because we have this holiday after Thanksgiving where we get to open, like, early Christmas presents and we set up the tree and, you know. So, I haven't recorded for two weeks. So, um, just because, I, um, I've been just kind of hanging out with family and stuff like that. So, you know. Um, so here's Stretch Serpent. Uh, this is the Kenner Stretch Serpent. This is a custom, it is not real. Um, it is made by a, a person that made the custom, the big Stretch Monster, and also, um, the, the mini Black Stretch Monster. So, um, you would expect the same quality from this, from him. So this is really good quality. I actually really do like this. It's like basically a replica of the Stretch Serpent. Now, I don't know how he makes his molds for these to be able to dip the rubber into the molds and it, it would just he would just let them dry. And but I mean, I've been looking on online to try to find out how to make them. I mean, that'd be cool if in the future I could make one. I, I do have a mold for one. That, for, I do have a mini Stretch Armstrong mold. I was used in 1990-something from Cap Toys, a Cap Toys mold. Um, so, yeah, uh, I'm ranting here, so, okay. So here's Stretch Serpent. Uh, he looks pretty spot on. He's got these kind of like dots or like scales, I guess. And he's got this fin. He's stretchy. He's, he's, he's cool. Um, so his body, he's got kind of this like, um, this kind of like pattern, I guess, underneath. So, you know, that's, that's kind of it for the body. So you're not going to really going to see a full stretch arm strong body. You're going to be seeing serpent body. So you know and then here is the head now um what's weird about this head is i think it's actually a custom head or it's a vintage head um you're gonna be seeing like it's it's obviously painted on and stuff but okay so can you see this this is a date right here it says 19 78 so i am wondering if this is a vintage head or a new head or a custom head now i have no idea but um yeah so he looks pretty spot on you know uh i i don't actually have a custom stretch or i don't actually have a real stretch serpent here because they're worth like six thousand dollars and I'm not really going to pay that much money, and I don't even have that much money, so, you know. Um, so, yeah, that was just basically a kind of like a shorter review of Stretch Serpent.